this is a chapter 41 verse number 9 and 10 does it really say is it really true that we cannot find it or this guy is a liar read carefully with me and laugh at the liars and you can tell me any translation you wish by the way any translation all of them for me i do not need to read translation for me i have it in arabic in the front of me it says clearly translation your translation muslim not mine which is nothing but fabrication you said if you read the Quran you will never find that what a scam read carefully do you indeed disbelieve him and the sign compared to him who created the earth in two days he created what the earth in two days he continues saying after creating the earth he set up firm mountains on it the Quran teach that the mountains are something set up in the top of the earth which is very foolish because the mountains are coming from inside the earth not something you place in the top of the earth and then he provide with substance assistance and partition to the needs of all who seek like you know water trees etc grass so let us see how many days and that all was done in four days the muslims here they add saying here all is was done in four days the earth created in two days the verse after it Allah explaining what he did after he created the earth in four days so the total now is six days already then the verse after it says after he finished number uh, stage number one which is creating the earth and then creating the mountains and the substance in the top of the earth which took four days then he turned to the sky and the sky was a smoke which means was nothing and then he made the earth or sorry the heaven seven heaven in two days the total is eight so what the that deception is you will never find anywhere in the quran it says that allah created the earth in eight days we do not need it to say it's clear the muslim they try to defend they say to you oh no here he is saying four days which means everything took four days that will not be true and we can get that busted easy because if everything took four days you do not need to say we created the earth in two days you can say side chapter number two or number 10 and number nine together and remember by the way uh, the verse i mean when muhammad he said that those verses are not exist i mean number nine and ten this is the muslim trying to copy from the bible to recognize the quran there was no nine there's no ten there's no eleven there's no fourteen this is this is all later fabrication of the muslims trying to make it look like the bible just take that into your consideration which means this is a continuous speech so tell them O prophet indeed that we have created the earth in two days and after that after creating the earth so the earth is done so what the second stage the second stage done in four days so now what we have we have a stage a creating the earth stage b creating what in the earth stage uh, uh, C creating the sky the total is eight now how we can get them more busted to say that this is what happened that the God of Islam before he moved to the heaven he was working for six days on earth who is more knowledgeable about Islam Muhammad or did that this is a question I give it to the Muslims who of you Muslims more knowledgeable about what Quran is saying, you or your prophet? If we go to the hadith, we will find Muhammad saying the following. Confirm me what is written here. This is a Sahih hadith in Sahih Muslim. They can note. They cannot say this is weak. And actually the Muslims, they have a lot of argument about this hadith. But at the end of the day, they confirm that they cannot deny that this is a Sahih hadith. Look what Muhammad said. Muhammad, he got the that busted abdul busted islam busted and nobody can defend islam no more unless you want to say to me that your prophet he is a stupid he do not know what the quran is teaching and he himself he don't understand and you understand the quran better than him muhammad said allah the exalted the glorious creator who is talking allah messenger who is reporting abu huraira abu huraira is from the most trustworthy reported of hadith in the history of Islam so they cannot say it's a lie this is Abu Huraira and Abu Huraira here is not copying from somebody else Abu Huraira is a first-hand witness Muhammad he took his hand when he took which is very funny and weird Allah messenger took my hand he hold my hands and said so he is not hearing this from somebody else he heard it directly from Muhammad Allah the exalted the glorious created the clay on Saturday 
So this is day number one. Take a note, Abdul. This is day number one. And then he created the mountains in Sunday. This is day number two. Created the trees on Monday. This is day number three. And then he created all things in time and labor in Tuesday. And this is day number four. And then he created the light in Wednesday. And this is day number five. And then he caused animals to spread on th 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 Thursday. Do you see it? This is day number six. Until now, he did not go to heaven. Until now, he's just working on earth. And then he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Total is seven days. But we will focus in the creation of the earth now. We will forget about the creation of Adam. So we will take the day number seven, which is a stupid of Muhammad to say, because that will make it funny. So we will count only the six days. As you see, Allah here is just working on the earth. So when the that he lie, he says, nowhere, nowhere. Do you see it, Muslims? Muhammad, he is saying here clearly that Allah, he spent six days working in the earth. So chapter 41, verse number 9 and verse number 10 is in total agreement with this hadith. But it is a contradiction with other verses in the Quran where Allah, he says that he created the earth and the heaven in six days. So when this uh, 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 Indian man, he asked the dad a question about why this is a contradiction and the dad, he denied that there is nowhere in the Quran it says that. You are a big fat liar. As you see, so now two days after he finished the earth, this is totally already already six days. After that, we have two days more to he create and finish the heaven. As we see in the Quran in verse number 11 and 12. So this is what we notice about the Muslims. In order to refute us, they have to deceive us. They cannot refute us with dignity and honesty. We have to play the game of deception, for we belong to the God of deception. Otherwise, I challenge the dad to say why he is lying. I mean, do he understand the Quran more than his prophet? Do this Abdul understand what Quran is saying more than his prophet? He will go, don't tell me that the dad, he never heard this before. Actually, obviously, he never heard this before. Uh, because I remember the dad, yesterday, actually yesterday, a Muslim, he called us, he asked me the same question the dad he asked. Did that once he said in my debate, he said, Your Bible says that the the the, the, the sky the, the sun was created in the fourth day. <laughs> so the earth was without light for four days. Uh, but this is what his prophet said. As you see in the front of you, the light was created in Wednesday. Who is saying that? Muhammad. So the Muslims always assume. That you are a foolish man who do not know anything. You are ignorant. You have no education. Our Bible says that the first thing God created, He said, "Let be light," and He called light day. Before He created even the sun, He have light already. He created light. So nowhere in the Bible it says there was no light. But here, as we see, this is in your prophet explanation that the first thing He created, the clay, and then the animals, and etc., and then. Or trees, sorry, the animal is after the trees and the substance, and as you see, all of this, and then at the end, in stage number six, he created the animals, and the last stage he created Adam in the day number seven. So they lie to us in order to deceive us. Because there is no dignity, there's no honesty, only stupidity. And they think if we play mockery. We can shut you up. Mockery is the way to silence you, to make it to make you look like a fool. But yet they are the fool. So I'm going to make this video short so people will be easier for them to download it. And I'm going to come back exactly after five minutes from now. Are we good? And please download this video immediately.
I'm not going to leave it in my channel to be sure that all of you are downloading the video. Give me five minutes. I will create a new broadcast and I will be back with you. Again, don't forget to download and to share and let us get the liars busted for this is what we do. We got them busted. Glory to the truth and the truth will set you free. And the Messiah, he said, I am the truth. And Allah in the Quran tried to copy the name of Jesus and he said he is the truth. The thief. And they say to you where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. How he can be the truth if he is not God. How a man can be the truth is not God. How he can be the Alpha and the Omega. How he can be the beginning and the end. How he can be the resurrection. How he can be what God called himself, I am. I am the good shepherd. Why you call me good? Only God is good. Join us again after five minutes. And we will be with you, getting them busted as usual. Thank you very much. And see you soon. Just five minutes, guys. Take care. Don't forget to download, please. Don't forget. Because sometimes we have to make it clear that there is something missing in our work. There's a few only download, and the rest are just watching. We are not a comedy show. We are doing a mission. Either you are a Christian for real, or go watch TV. Watch cartoon. Either you are with or against. The Lord, he don't take people who they are so-so. If you are, either you are cold or hot, so I can swallow you, what the Bible says. So choose to be. Don't be just a warm water. Nobody can swallow. Be someone. Be Christian. Thank you very much, and see you soon. Bye-bye.